So to give it an even more three-dimensional look, I'm going to now blend colors into the lines that I've already placed in here. So I started with these red lines because my intention is to use warmer colors there. So hmm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the outline as the dark part. So that's my starting point. And I'm going to move towards the other side. And as I do that, you can tell I'm pressing lighter and lighter. If I have enough room, I can come from the other direction as well. But then maybe I'm going to switch to yellow here, another warm color. Pressing harder, blending it, pressing harder and blending it. So now I'm going to go back to the orange. So little kid, they would just color the whole thing. You guys understand value, you understand blending. So you notice I'm fading it away, but that fading effect we know is called blending. Some people also call this shading. So blending is just when I get two colors to kind of mingle together, where I can't really tell the difference. Where does it become white? Where does it become orange? It's hard to tell where it stops and starts. So back to my yellow. Fading it away to white, so it gets hard to tell where did the yellow stop. Then back to the orange. So I'm going to continue this effect all the way across the contours of his face that I did. And I'm going to do the same thing on his neck and shoulders with the same color schemes. In the background, I plan on using cool colors so that it will contrast with the warm colors and I will see the difference. 